This God's favor is a blessing. Our God is good and his mercies and just forevermore. Amen. And Pastor Tomowa, and I say you are welcome again to today's edition of the Church in the Air. This is a church without walls and borders, setting men up with God for a glorious turnaround. And we are super duper excited to be here again today. We want to use the opportunity to say thank you, y'all, for joining us. Thank you for attending the prayer section. Hope you were blessed. I'm tremendously blessed in that prayer section. It's a part of this program and it's something that you must encounter because that's where the miracles start from. And today we are looking into... The series, What Faith Is Not, and we are looking at, we have looked at faith is not just praying because there are different kinds of prayers and there are different levels of prayer. And today, in the mercy of God, we are looking at faith is also not quoting the Bible. You agree with me that so many people have quoted the scripture and they yet die in their sickness. They are quoting the scripture and they are oppressed at the same time. So faith is not just the Bible. It's not just quoting that scripture. There is much more to what faith is. And that is what we are looking into today. Who is ready to dig in with me? Let us do this together. And I pray that the almighty God meets you today at your point of need. Therefore, I want you to pray with me. That God, because the, the anointing for faith of the gift of healing and working of miracles upon my life. And as we minister in this place, there is a manifestation of same. I want you to agree with me that God, because I connect with Pastor Tomorrow today, I will receive my divine encounter. I don't know what you want God to do for you. As the word of God is going to come forth, it's going to do, do our work. Number one, it's going to illuminate you and give you insight into the message. Number two, it's going to also meet you at your own point of need. The exact word that you want to hear from God, God is going to speak it to you. So open your mouth and say, God, grant me insight and revelation knowledge of you today. Cause my eyes of understanding to be open, God. Let me see treasure from your word to the Lord. Open my eyes of understanding, oh God. I say, God, cause my eyes to see, cause my ear to hear in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. We therefore commit this meeting to you. We turn it over to you, Holy Ghost. We cast thy imaginations and every height in thy salt itself against the knowledge of God. We bring every thought into captivity to obey Christ. I take authority over every height in thy thought itself against the knowledge of God. I judge you, Satan. I decree concerning my friends, O oh God, that we got insight into your revelation and knowledge, O oh God. Open our eyes, let us see treasure from your word today. And I say, Father, miracle is free to happen in this place. Healing is free to manifest, O oh God. Deliverance is permitted in this place, O oh God. As the word go forth, O oh God, Holy Ghost, meet your my friends, eh? heal them deliver set them free give them a specific word oh god that will move them from where they are to their next level of glory in the name of jesus christ and above all oh god let this word of life oh god let it breathe life into us oh god let it quicken our mother body let it change our story lord let us cause us to change from glory to glory even in your image oh god in the name of yeshua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. One more time, thank you, y'all, for joining us today. Hallelujah. It's a blessing. We are going to hit it straight. Faith is not quoting the Bible. Ho, ho, ho. Faith is not quoting the Bible. It is not. Pause and think about that. That you quoted the Bible. You see many people that quote the Bible. There are many theology professors that don't even believe in God anyway. So faith is not just quoting the Bible. There is much more about it. Today God is going to give you insight in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to look at some anchor scriptures. We have some anchor scriptures. And I pray that as we look at these scriptures, it will bless you. The first on the list is John chapter 1 verse 1. The Spirit of God said that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So the Bible, the, the Lord is saying that the Word of God is God. 
do you know who God is? I tell you, faith is not just quoting Bible. You just open the Bible. Some people even tear the Bible. They just tear it and use it for something. Or they just dump it anyhow. No, the word of God is God. I want you to remember because understanding this will give you liberty in your life. The word of God is God. Let's move on. The second anchor scripture is there's a little bit lower, Hebrews chapter 4. It gave the characteristics of the word of God. Faith is not just quoting Bible. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12 to 13. 13. Hebrews 4, 12 to 13. It said, for the word of God, which is God, is quick. If the word of God is not quick in your life, you have not encountered him. And it's powerful. If you quote the scripture and it does not hold fire in your mouth, you are not quoting the Bible. And it's sharper than any two-edged sword. It is sharp. It can pierce even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. In other words, if you, okay, I don't know. Is it conscious? Do I know? I can't help myself. I don't know. This is the way I'm, I'm created. I'm this, I'm this. I'm not sure. The word of God can make it clear to you that, okay, this is you. This is not you. I don't know why I find myself doing this. Uh, this is what I want to do, but I kept doing this. It can divide between soul and spirit. It can make it clear to you that this is your soul. This is your spirit. It can make it clear where the source of the situation is coming from. It says it also can divide and of the joints and marrow. Oh, the hospital, they say they cannot diagnose the situation. There's a beloved lady, you know, she was ill for a long time. Shame to the medical staff. For a long time, they said they could not see what was wrong with her until when it was two weeks for her to die. That is a shame. The word of God will show you, it will penetrate to the detail and tell you this is where the problem is. It says, and, and is a designer, a design of the thoughts and intents of the health. I don't know why that. I don't know what is in the what is the mind of the person. Only the word of God will reveal it to you. It can penetrate and know what your thought is. It said in verse 13, it said, Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. Whether human, machinery, physical, in this universe. Everything is made clear to him. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 1 that he uphold all things by the word of his power. He said, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. That is the word of God. So my question is, are you actually quoting the word of God? Have you encountered this word? Oh, I quote the scripture. Did you really quote the word of God? That is the essence of this message today. Let's move on. Our last anchor scripture for this message. First John chapter 1 verse 1. I pray God give you insight and revelation knowledge of this word. Because if this thing is registered in your heart, you will not miss it in life. And I pray that's your portion in the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen. First John chapter 1 verse 1. It said that which was from the beginning. The spirit, the prophet, the apostle John was testifying of the word of God. It's not just the Bible. It said that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. The word of life. There is something called the word of life that is hidden inside the Bible. So when you are quoting the scriptures, don't just stay on just quoting the letter. Encounter the word of life. Let's look at it. What is the word of life? Remember that the three anchor scripture talk about it. John chapter 1 said the word is God. It is not just that scripture you just quote with your mouth. You are quoting a scripture and you are, somebody is confirming it and they don't even believe in God. That is not God. If they encounter the word, things will change. In Hebrew, we read it. It said the word is quick and powerful. 
is strong, sharper than any two as well. It can divide between soul and spirit. Are you speaking the word of God or are you just speaking letters? You must know the difference. My father in the Lord, brother Benny E, gave a testimony one day in one of his messages that there was one beloved lady. She's a minister of the gospel. She was ill, maybe diagnosed with cancer. And she began to quote the scripture by the stripe of Jesus have been made him. My father in the Lord said he went to her and, and said, hello, woman of God, that don't quote the scripture God has not given you. That the woman was angry. What do you mean? The Bible is for everybody. God gave me the Bible. And that is why I'm quoting it. He said, no, don't quote the scripture God has not given you. That, you, that is a scripture is not enough to say that's the word of God. There is more to the scripture than the word of God. The, my father and the Lord said that woman died quoting that scripture because she didn't encounter the word of life. And that is the essence of this message today. The word of life, the spirit of God told me some, oh, some time ago that the word of God is not just the Bible. Don't get deceived, my friend. The word of God is hidden inside the Bible. Look at all the characteristics we listed from our anchor scriptures. You have to dig deep to encounter him. Now you have to expect him and then dig deep to get into him. In other words, when you are speaking the scripture, when you are speaking, wait on it with expectation to encounter the word of life. Apostle John called it the word of life. A Lord just can say this word is spirit and life. The word of life is more than the Bible. The word of life is a personality. The word of God is a personality. Do you encounter him or not? The word of life is Christ himself. He said, and the word is God. Are you speaking the word of God? Have you encountered the word of God concerning your situation, my friend? Because if you don't encounter the word of God, you are just quoting the scripture. No wonder it's not working for you. Many people today, they just die quoting the scripture because they don't know they needed to expect to encounter the word of life. Some people stumble on the word of life and the word works for them. If the word of God ever worked for you, quoting the scripture ever worked for you, it's because you step into the word of life. The letter will never work. It is the word that will work. But because many of us don't know that that is what happened to us, we don't know how to replicate it again and again. And that is why the Holy Spirit is nudging me to tell you what faith is not. Faith is not just quoting the Bible. It is speaking the word of life. If you have not encountered this word of life, you are not in faith. Faith is not just quoting the Bible, my friend. I want you to pause and look into that message. Faith is speaking the word of life. You are not yet in faith until you encounter the word of life. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, it says faith is the substance of the things hoped for, the evidence of the things not yet seen. There must be that tangibility of the things you are speaking. Not just quoting the Bible. You must wait until the Bible become life in your mouth. That is when you are praying. Until then, you are just preparing. Until then, you are just preparing. I want you to hear the word of God. In our book, uh, Prayer Dynamics, it's available on Amazon. You can look at it with that extensively on this. It can be a blessing to you. Faith is not just quoting the Bible. As a life coach, I meet a lot of people, but you know, yes, I know the scripture said it, but the thing is not working. Somebody approached me that, does this thing work at all? This thing you are preaching every day, does it work? Because they didn't know that you have to encounter life in the word of God. The word of God is not just a Bible. The word of God is hidden inside the Bible. It's God himself. It's Christ himself. Until you encounter him, you are not speaking the word. Who am I talking to today? Who is this message for today? Put it on the comment section that the word of God is not just the Bible. The word of God is hidden inside the Bible. Until you dig deep, you cannot encounter him. Don't just read the Bible on the surface level. 
Oh, okay, we read the Bible yesterday. No, have you? The word of God become life in you. The word of God become that desire to come. That is when you are in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. You now lay hold on that evidence. You lay hold on that substance of your desire miracle. And that is when you are about to start praying. All authority is given to our Lord Jesus in heaven and on earth. Mandarin. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Our God is a good God. Man tereba kuro balida zamporo ba shateri de de chuka. This is the Church in the Air, a church without wall and border, setting men up with God for a glorious turnaround. This is the Church in the Air, a church without wall and border, setting men up with God for a glorious turnaround. Thank you, Jesus. The devil is a liar. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know where we got to before the technical hitch right there. We play the blood of Jesus. The word of God is not just the Bible. The word of God is hidden inside the Bible. You have to dig deep to encounter him. Now, I won't talk about it. Let's now look at the characteristics as we begin to round up. Let's look at the characteristics of the word of life. Because understanding it will make you to know that, okay, I've encountered him or not. Until you get to that point, don't ever assume you have quoted the scripture. Oh, I quoted it yesterday. I'll be quoting it. No, you may quote it. Be in expectation that God, I want to encounter life from this word because the word of God is not just the Bible. The word of God is hidden inside the Bible. And until you encounter him, you until you dig deep, you will not encounter him. When you are full of expectation, it will come to you. Praise the Lord. The devil is a liar. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Some of this. Hebrew 4 12 made it very clear. We read the different characteristics. It's a quick thing, it's very quick, sharp. So when you be quote, I've been quoting the scripture for the past two weeks. You have not re really encountered the scripture. Do you get it? Because if you quote it instantly, you will get an answer. Do you understand? If you are quoting it and you have not gotten an answer, you have not reached the word of life yet. You are still brooding. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses that the letter kill it is the word that gives life. 
So, oh, I've been quoting the scripture. This scripture, I know it. I've been quoting it for the past three weeks. You have not reached the word yet. You are just quoting the letter. You have not encountered the word of God because it's quick. In the day you encounter him, it will answer immediately. It doesn't delay. It's powerful. You quote the scripture by the stripe of Jesus, I'm healed, and the symptoms is still there. No, you didn't quote the scripture. You are still preparing. You are still brooding. If you understand this basic, your faith's life will move high. It's sharp. It's clear. There is no, you know, shadow of turning. There's no maybe or maybe not. It designed thought. It can tell you specifically this is what is going on. It reveals intent. There is nothing hidden from him. Okay, I, I don't know. I've been quoting the scripture, but I still don't know what to do. No, you have not quoted the scripture. You are still preparing. Is somebody getting me? I pray the eyes of your understanding be open, that you might see treasure from the word of life in the name of Jesus Christ. He said everything is open and naked before him. Everything is open and naked before him. The word of God, the catalyst, is the spirit. It is not just things that you see written lettered in the Bible. There, it is hidden inside the Bible. It's Christ himself. Our Lord Jesus Christ in John chapter 6, verse 68, 63 rather. He said, the word that I speak, they are spirit and their life is a spirit. If you have not encountered the spirit nature of the world, you have not yet encountered the world. You are still preparing. The main thing is for you to know that Anytime you are quoting the scripture and it has not gotten to this level, know that you have not started yet. Let it register into your mind. The day the word of God become life, miracle happens for you. And you will encounter that in the name of Jesus Christ. Faith is not just quoting the Bible. So having said that, how then do we encounter the word of life? I want to encounter it. If you want to say, Pastor Tomo, I'm interested. How do I encounter this word of life? I'm interested. I don't just want to quote a Bible and it's not working for me. I don't want to quote a scripture and I die in my sickness. How do I encounter the word of life? Simple. It start by identifying the word of the Bible for your situation or your expected outcome. That situation you are going through, search the Bible. Now we have mobile Bible everywhere. Just click on the search. Put the situation you are going through on it. Pain, lack, oppression, shame, reproach, not enough, relationship. Just put anything and let's see all the scriptures that come up. Look for the one that really resonates with you. Take at least two or three. The Bible says in the month of two or three witnesses, the, the watch will be established. Or you look for the expected outcome. I want peace. I want healing. I want deliverance. Type it on the on the on, on your mobile Bible, and look for all the scripture that comes out. If you have a hard Bible, it's okay. Do you have a phone? Check on the phone. It's easy for us today to be a believer. So easy for you to be a Christian. So easy for you to uh, to create your miracle. So look at that scriptures, all the scriptures that came out, read all of them. Look for three of them that you like so much, that resonate with you, that, okay, yeah. That some you will read, it will be a cause. You say, oh, no, that's, that's like the situation I'm going through. I don't want that. So you look for the expected outcome. Do you understand? Now, that is the first step. The second step is you now begin to read it. Write them out and read them. Now, that is where many people stop. They just read them. Oh, the Bible said this. So I believe it. It is so. No, you have not started yet. Oh, that brother has cancer. Everybody lift up your hand. We take authority. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. It doesn't work like that. Faith is not like that. When we get to faith, it's not taking authority like that. You must, you, but it's the beginning. Speaking the word is the beginning. But that is not where it stops. You must believe and agree with the scripture you are reading because it is what you believe that will happen for you. The Bible says, whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, believe you receive it and you will have it. Agree with the scripture you are reading. The Bible says, by the stripe of Jesus, I have been made you. I, I believe so. 
The Bible said the Lord supply my needs according to his riches in glory. I don't know how he's going to supply. I don't see this. It doesn't make sense. But I decide to agree with God. Then you begin to meditate and speak it forth. You are just starting. You are not yet there. It is still not the word. You are just preparing. Remember, the word of God is not just the Bible. The word of God is hidden inside the Bible. And you have to dig deep to encounter him. But you are brooding. You are preparing the word now. Then finally, you will now continue on this in expectation, in expectation until you encounter the word of life as we have been talking about since. You don't stop. You have expectation that this, from this scripture, my word of life is coming out. In, in, in theology, they call it Rema. From this scripture, word of life is coming out the spirit of god is coming out christ himself is going to reveal himself to me from this scripture in expectation you must be expectant to encounter the word of life from the scripture you are quoting do you understand me and that is how you encounter the word of life now let's look at this word of life how do you get to that boiling point the boiling point of faith when the word of God has become life in you, what happened at that junction? These are the preparation we just look at. What happened when you know that you know, oh, now I've encountered the word. Now is the word I speak. Remember, if you speak, the word is powerful. So if you speak the scripture and it's not powerful, it didn't create a miracle. You are not yet there. You are starting, don't lose hope, but be expectant to get to the boiling point. So what is this boiling point of faith? In this series, we are going to be looking at it again and again. The boiling point of faith. The Bible, it is when the word of God turns to the word of life in your mouth. So that is why every scripture you have been quoting since, you are building. It's like you, are, you want to boil water. The heat is under it. The water is just the little bubbles coming up. You're coming. But it gets to a place where the water starts boiling. And the water from liquid turns to gaseous. And that's when the word in your mouth turns to the word of life. I've been quoting it now. And before you know, you just speak it and it becomes powerful. My father and the Lord brother, J Gary Kese, in one of his testimony, he was ill. He had this palsy. And he went into work. He called the scripture and began to, he pasted it around his eye, began to quote them, quote them, quote them. He was speaking it. Remember, I said it's not yet the word. He was still speaking the letter. Until one day he just saw it. He just saw the scripture and he just spoke it for. And immediately the thing healed because he now encountered the word of life. If you encounter the word of God, miracle must happen for you. And that will be your portion in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. This is when you attain that substance. Like Hebrew 11, 1 says, the substance of things you are hoping for, the evidence of the things you are not yet saying. It is a supernatural experience. Remember that. The anointing of God is here and healing is happening for somebody right now. It's a supernatural experience. If you have not experienced it yet, it's because you have not gotten it. Be expectant that as I'm speaking this word, life will come out of it. It's a supernatural experience, it's not a natural thing. You, you won't get to the boiling point and not know. You must know. Some people say, I know that I know you just be in your, everything will just charge up. Everything about you will just resonate. Your spirit, soul, and body will just unite with the world. That no, by the stripe of Jesus have been made him. Oh, the lost supply. That's why people will say that I know that I know that I know. It's a supernatural experience. You must experience it. And then the scripture in your mouth will just create that miracle. Because the scriptures are meant to create the miracle. Every word in the scripture are meant to manifest exactly the same and much more. So when the word is not manifesting yet, you have not gotten to the word of God. Faith is not just quoting the Bible. Who am I talking to today? Until you encounter the word of life from the Bible. The letters of the scripture will not work for you. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to read um, this place as we round up right now. The, 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 the story of how Habakkuk encountered the word of life. Because faith is not just quoting the Bible. Faith is speaking the word of life. 
Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1 to 2. One day, the Spirit of God opened my eyes to that scripture. I never remained the same. Let's look at it. I, I highlighted something there. I, I, I emboldened them. Habakkuk said, the Spirit of God through the prophet Habakkuk said, you can read from verse 1 to 4, but let's just take from verse 1 to 2. He said, I will stand upon my word. I will stand, I'm not leaving. And wait and set upon the tower. And I will watch to see what he will say unto me. Now that, that raffles me a lot. He said, I'm going to be here and watch to see what God will say. No, you're supposed to stay to hear what God will say. He said, I want to watch and see what God will say. Do you understand? He wanted to encounter the word of life. And verse 2, we don't know the time difference between verse 1 and verse 2 of Habakkuk. However, verse 2 said, and what, okay, uh, still verse 1, and what I will answer when I am reproved. And verse 2 said, we don't know the difference between verse 1 and verse 2. We don't know how long it took Habakkuk to stay and watch until he's home. However, in verse 2, and the Lord answered Habakkuk and said, he didn't say, write what you hear. He said, write the vision. You wanted to see? Behold, have you seen now? Write the vision and make it plain upon tablet that he may run that read it. Down the line in verse 4, the Bible now said, and they just shall live by faith. The Lord called this faith. When you choose to wait until your eyes see, beyond hearing until your eyes see beyond just reading the letter of the bible faith is not just quoting the bible faith is speaking the word of life don't die of that sickness my friend don't die of that oppression don't die of that stagnation you quoted the scripture yes but have you really quoted the word of god you know the scripture, yes, you have even read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, but have you really quoted the word of life? The first thing is that you must stay on the word with expectation of encountering the word of life for it to work for you. Who am I talking to today? Don't be in a hurry to quote that scripture. Stay on that scripture. Read it. Read it again. Read it again. I say, God, the word of life must jump out of this for me. And very soon, like Habakkuk, the word will come alive for you. Who is am I talking to today? It's a new day for you. You are going to be praying right now that God, let me encounter the word of life. We have looked at the mercy of God. We have looked at two steps of what faith is not. Because God is going to take us through several things that people claim I'm in faith. Oh, I quoted the scripture. No, it's not just quoting the scripture. The first one is that we look at faith. It's not just praying. Oh, I prayed and prayed. No, there are different kinds of prayer and different levels of prayer. And today in the mercy of God, we look at faith. It's not just quoting the scripture. Don't just say because I quoted the scripture, that means I'm in faith. Because the word of God is not just the Bible. The word of God is hidden inside the Bible. You have to dig deep to encounter him. I want you to begin to pray with me today. That God, in the beginning of the year, the Spirit of God told us that we, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. The ability is in you to wait on God to encounter this life. This word of God, everything that is written in the scripture is possible to happen in your life. Jesus Christ said, by stripe out, you have been made healed. You can be healed indeed. He says, supply your needs according to his riches in glory. It can be your reality. He said, he has delivered you from the dominion of darkness. It can be your reality. He said that you are blessed in your going out and in your community. It can be your reality. He said, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, subdue and have dominion. It can be your reality. However, just quoting the scripture will not happen. You must encounter the word of God from that scripture. Oh, I like that scripture. Don't just live on, I like the scripture. Encounter life from that scripture. Who am I talking to today? 
I want you to begin to pray. The Bible says, pray with me that I receive power to win. I receive power to have. I receive power to do. Open your mouth and say, I receive power to be. I receive power to have. I receive power to do. Open your mouth and declare with me that I have power to be. I have power to have. I have power to do. I will not die of that sickness. No. I will not remain in that stagnation state. No. I will not remain in that oppressed state. No. I will not remain in that lack state. No. If the Bible has said it, I will wait until the word of God come out of that Bible for me. If the scripture has been said concerning me, except it's not in the Bible, and there is nothing in the, that, is, that you are going through that is not addressed in the Bible. If there is not, there's some general scripture that address everything. Ask and it shall be given to you. Just ask. It say, he that you have asked nothing in my name. Ask in my name and it shall be given to you. But don't just say, I've asked, that is it. Oh, I've asked in the name of just yesterday. So no. Let ask until you encounter life. Because when you ask, it must become fire in your mouth. If it is not fire in your mouth, you have not spoken the word yet. If somebody bless you to this message, open your mouth and say, Jesus, that's I receive power today. I receive power to power. I receive power to do I choose you, Jesus. God. Open your mouth and say, I choose you, Jesus. God. Open your mouth and say, I choose you, Jesus. God. Open your mouth and say, I choose you, Jesus. God. Open your mouth and say, I choose you, Jesus. God. Open your mouth and say, let me, let, let me share this scripture that I like so much. Let me share this scripture. A beloved sister just pasted it and I want to share it with you. Second Corinthians, John chapter 6 verse 63. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, It is the spirit that gives life. The, the flesh profits nothing. The word that I speak, they are spirits and their life. It is the spirit that gives life. Don't be deceived. Oh, that person lay hand on me. No, it's the spirit that gives life. Oh, I know what to do. It's the spirit that gives life. The word that I speak, they are spirits and their life. Until you encounter the word of life, do not declare that you have spoken, you have spoken the word yet. In your life, look at those cardinal scripture. Make sure you encounter life from them. Be in expectation that I'm, I want to encounter life from this. Because it is until I encounter life that I can get the spirit and I can get the life from it. That is the reason why you put that scripture and that sickness has not gone yet. You have not encountered the word of life yet. You are just speaking the lemma, the, 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 the lesson. But today you begin to speak it. Our Lord just says it's the spirit that gives life. The flesh profits nothing. Romancing the scripture is not going to change you. There are many people that went to study the Bible and they don't believe in God. Why? How is it possible? Because they don't encounter the word of life. You can read the Bible from cover to cover and don't encounter the word in it. Because the spirit that gives life. The word, the flesh profits nothing. The, the flesh where the mind is and all that, they profit nothing. Until you encounter the word of life, the word that I speak, they are spirits and their life. They are quick. They are powerful. They are sharper than any two edges sword. They become what, they are, what, what is written about them. Are you speaking the word of life? Have you encountered the word of life? Faith is not just put in the Bible. Faith is speaking the word of life. Begin to pray with me, my friend. Open your mouths. We have through the time begin to pray with me that God in this place let me encounter him. Let God, 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 thank you, beloved sister, for that scripture. Open your mouth and say, God, let me encounter you in this place today. I surrender to you. Help me to be able to spend enough time to be able to receive what the actual word of God from the Bible is a prayer you must pray. I will not quote the Bible. And just quote for on, on, on my lips. My father and the Lord, brother E.W. Kenyon, said something about mental assertion and spirit assertion of the word, something like that. You may know the scripture offhand, 
a, a pastor is preaching and you know where it is verse one i can even give you the different translation and the greek translation that is still level the, the flesh profit nothing. It is the spirit that gives life. Until you encounter the word of God, it is not the realm, it is not the translation, it is the spiritual, it is the spirit of God. That is the one that creates miracle for you. Pray with me, pray with me, pray with me. And if you are there, you are sick in your body, this is the time to put your hand in that place. The Bible says, and this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name, they will lay hand on the sick and recover. By faith, I lay hand on you. I decree recover from that infirmity. Because you connect to this meeting today, you made that proclamation earlier. I speak to you. I say, receive your visitation. Receive a change of story. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. It's the spirit that gives life. The flesh profits nothing. Make sure you encounter the word of God in the Bible. It is not just the Bible. It's hidden inside the Bible. Who is blessed with today's message? Somebody? If you are blessed, I want you to say resounding hallelujah. We are going to use this opportunity to welcome if you have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior. What is happening to you? It's time to do that. That is where I start from. I want you to declare with me if you want to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. The Lord Jesus, I believe you are the son of God that came to this world to die for the sins of all mankind. I confess you as my Lord and Savior today. Thank you for forgiving my sins. I receive the forgiveness of my sin today in Jesus' name. If you say that simple prayer, we believe that you have received Jesus Christ and now you have the authority to enjoy the blessings and the goodness in the kingdom of Christ. Congratulations. Please put on the comment section that you received Jesus today as your Lord and Savior. Anybody that see that please in any of the platform, just welcome them. Say thank you. We have a special gift for you. If you put on the comment section, we can reach out to you later and give you one of Pastor Tomawa's book that you that can help you to know more about christ jesus hallelujah and then is it today's your first time fellowshipping with us in any other platform if today's your first time fellowshipping with us where have you been everybody please let me send an emoji to them you are welcome you are welcome you are welcome thank you for joining us we are super duper excited to have you we hope we pray that you are blessed today okay you can you you just put on the comment section. We also have a gift for you. Put on the comment section that today is your first time and we put a gift across to you. One more time, thank you so much for joining us today. Are you blessed in this place today, somebody? Hallelujah. And now we are going to thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. We are going to give opportunity for those that would like to give an offering to the Lord. If in your heart you just wish that I want to just worship God today with an offering, we give you that opportunity this moment. Our God is a good God. So you go to our website, here.church. Or you click on the back code on, on, on the screen. It will take you exactly to where you can give. Praise the Lord. The scripture of the Bible says that to him that has, more shall be given to him. As you have the opportunity to be a blessing, the Bible says God loves a cheerful people. As you make yourself available to be a blessing to them, the Lord ensures that more is given to you. He said, give and it shall be given to you. The Bible said, as long as earth remains, seed time and harvest will never change. So as you are giving, remember, the Lord is ensuring that you, you are giving in your future. It's going to wait for you in future, and it's going to be returned back to you in multiple form. Also, this giving is also an opportunity for someone that wants to as use your substance as a point of contact for your miracle. That's the second reason why we have this opportunity to give. 
It's one of the ways of creating miracles in our lives. It's one of the ways in the kingdom of Christ that you can lay hold on your breakthrough. You call that giving your miracle, and as you put it on this altar, it becomes what you have called it. So if you have that opportunity also that you want to use your giving as a point of contact for your miracle, I want you to specifically speak concerning that giving. That this, mention the name of that thing you want it to be. And say, as I connect it to this pastor tomorrow's ministry, that I will receive my miracle. Speak it like that, and it becomes your miracle. And it becomes a manifestation. So for both parties, either you are just wishing to give, willingly to just worship God, or you are using your giving as a point of contact for your miracle. I want you to speak on your giving right now. And shortly we pray about it. Who is ready with me to pray? Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready? Let us pray together. Father, we thank you for today. We receive with thanks given the opportunity to give. Thank you, Father, for as many that has given today, either to just as a free we giving to worship you, or are giving as a point of contact for a desire miracle. I pray for them that we receive such giving today with thanks to them. And we proclaim the blessings of God upon you. And we also proclaim the blessings of God upon you. And we say concerning the name you have called that given. We say we agree with you in faith. And we say it is so in the name of Jesus Christ. We say it will return to you for a testimony. And for you that give willingly and just to worship them. We say receive as the Bible says in Luke. That good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over with God, with God caused men to bring into your bosom. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. Because you have given to them, we say, let the blessings and abundance of your giving return back to you with your testimonies. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen. One more time, we want to say, Thank you, y'all, for the opportunity to give. We give God the praise. I tell you what, your giving is helping our Lord in the works of the ministry. One more time, thank you. And for you that has put a tag on your giving, you will return with your testimony. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, amen. This is where we are going to draw the curtain today. Somebody blessed with us today. One more time, thank you for joining us. You want to know more about us, you can go to our website, here.church. We, you say, okay, you need a mentor, you want to, you want some one-on-one -on -one mentor, you want to know more, you can try and sign up for our life coaching, coaching.air.church. Or you say, okay, so the, the details is on our website. And also at the moment, we are running a program called Rewards Why Doing Christ. This is an opportunity where you may want to make some extra money while engaging the content of, of Christ. You can check on our website, rewards.air.church. It will be a blessing to you. And for everyone that has connected with us today, I want us to proclaim according to the mandate of God concerning your life is that you'll be fruitful. So I want you to declare and name yourself so today. Open your mouth and say, I'm fruitful. I multiply. I fill the earth. I subdue it and I have dominion. Say it again that I'm fruitful. I multiply. I fill the earth. I subdue it and I have dominion. Mention your name because that is what should, be, should happen for you. You are not permitted to be anything less than that. Declare with me that I tomorrow I can judge I'm fruitful. I multiply, I fill the earth, I subdue it, and I have dominion. And I pray for you, in the beginning of the year, the Bible says empowering 2022. I say receive empowerment to be, empowering to have, and empowerment to do all that God has set aside for you. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, amen. Till we meet again, my dear friend, and Pastor tomorrow. I decree and declare that Jesus Christ, a Yeshua, Hamashiach, is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Amen and amen. Thank you, y'all, and God bless you. Shalom. This is the Church in the Air, a church without wall and border. 
setting men up with God for a glorious turnaround.